Hi, it's Erica again. Welcome to the hot mess train of my life this week. So, we don't start school until next week, but so it's like panic. Let's get everything bought. Let's get everything done. Let's get backpacks together, everything organized, right? Because that's what happens when you have nine kids, seven in public schools, one in a tech and a high school. And then you also have a baby that's a year old getting into everything and a three-year-old who still needs lots of attention. Oh, and on top of that, your husband goes out of town with the fire department. Okay, so mom needed a little bit of retail therapy today because we've canned. We're getting ready to do some more canning. And um, tried to keep the house clean, tried to keep the humans alive. You know, all of the things that you have to do as a mom. So a little bit of retail therapy. And when the only store in your small town is Dollar General and Casey's, you go to Casey's and get your fountain drink because you're down to one Diet Coke in the refrigerator. And for your children's safety, they need that Diet Coke. 100% joking, 100% joking, but mom needs some caffeine. And it was it's too hot for some coffee right now. So, okay. Oh, and you can't ask, you gotta add, we have a new puppy that's eight weeks old, an older dog who can kind of be moody and temperamental. So, you know, life is crazy. So, I went to Dollar General. Yay, savings. Every Saturday, they have the $5 off, um, just like this, $5 off, $25. And you can do it where you end up with um, a balance of almost zero. I'm never good at that. I'm just happy if it's under $30. That's always my goal. Um, because you got to save money where you need to. I'm a saving, I'm a couponing, I'm a save as much money as possible type of person. Um, I, I like it. It's, it's a rush for me to see how much money I can save. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you what we bought at Dollar General today. I did three transactions so I could use $5 off 25 on three different purchases. You get one on your digital. So that was my first transaction. And I had two receipts from this week that I had bought a few things. Literally, I went in there and bought like Oh, I don't remember. Somebody needed, oh, Kenny needed stuff for his trip. So I went and bought this stuff there, you know, spent just a few dollars there. So that's how we got, and I don't remember how I got the other one, but we've bought enough stuff that it's gave us, and they're only good for the Saturday following that week. So like this is, these are all due. I have three right now, and they're all good for August 14th. So, okay, I will show you what we've got. So this first transaction was, the total was, Twenty three sixty five, and yeah, twenty three sixty five, after tax and everything. So these, I just needed some more of this. It's a dollar fifty. I, if anybody can tell me where in Kansas to find Taco Bell sauce, the mild kind, let me know because I cannot find it anywhere, and my husband loves it. Don't mind the clean; those are clean clothes, I promise. And the Crisco that fell off the shelf. Just ignore my messes today. The Tide. I am literally addicted to buying laundry soap. I think part of this has to do with when Kenny was laid off. Um, there was a few times we almost ran out of laundry soap. Tide is the only thing we can use for our kids. And so from then on out, I made sure we had enough for a year at all times. And so, as you saw, I just bought a big bottle at Sam's Club. And right down here, that is all of our Tide. That's a lot of Tide, but we do a lot of laundry. So, you know, that is what it is. And then these were four for 10, which to me, that's a good price for my husband's bought. So they ended up being four for 10 for the Diet Coke. This was $1.50. Now this had, it was $17.95 and it had a $3 off coupon. So that made that $14.95 for 96 loads, I believe. That's a pretty good deal. And then, so like I said, the total for this one was $23.86. My goal was to get out of Dollar General for less than $100. Did I do it? Okay, next one. We love this fingernail polish. Um, I wait until it, um, it's usually $2.50. I wait until they have a 50 cent off coupon and I get it for $2. It's more than I would normally spend on fingernail polish, but um, I like it. The kids ask me for black. Don't ask me why they wanted black, but that's what they wanted. Okay. The total for this one was $23.88. So, okay. These dusters ended up being $2.95. They had a $2 off digital coupon. And I am going to post this today on Saturday so you guys can 
go to your, go download the digital app, get the $5 off, download some of these coupons and go do some of these deals. If you need any of these products, go do it. Okay, so these ended up being $2.95. I like this, and I already have the wand, but it came with one. This is how I had to use the coupon. These are great to clean off ceiling fans. That's what I mostly use these for. I have one child who has horrible allergies. We rotate between Claritin and Zyrtec. Um, this had, I believe, um, a, this had a $4 off coupon. It was $11.25 normally, so $4 off. And Claritin... She said a coupon came off for it too. Dollar fifty-two. That was like six bucks. So um, I noticed that the name brands sometimes do work just a little bit better with her. Don't know if it's just in my head or if it just happens to be when things happen. Okay, and then we got because I forgot Diesel's socks last night. He got his socks. I couldn't find um, ankle, but then I'm like, he wears boots ninety percent of the time. He doesn't need ankle. He needs crew. So those were. Um, six fifty, and they had a dollar twenty three off. So, like I said, the total on this transaction was twenty three eighty eight. So we are at twenty three eighty eight and twenty three sixty five. So that's less than fifty right there. So this last one, did it end up being over fifty? Let's see. Okay, I'm not going to show you the receipt total. Okay, the buy the folders were six for a dollar. That was the cheapest I could find them. Look at the Brad's. So I bought 12 of those because we'll use them. I'll put them in my box. I'll keep them. Binders were $4 a piece. They were not on sale, but we need them. I think we needed two. I may be wrong. We may have only needed one, but I would have rather got two so the kid can pick. Because like I said, I did retail therapy and I didn't take them with to pick out. So um, I got those and then the paper was 75 cents. There was a $2 off coupon off of $10 worth of um, $10 worth of school supplies. So I used that, got $2 off. This is a great way to just grab a few extra things. These razors are amazing. So they had the razor a few months ago with a coupon and I got it for like two bucks and it had two refills in the package. My husband just used it because he was, he'd grown a beard all summer, but he wanted to shave and that razor shaved him so smooth and he has a hard time finding a razor that shaves him that smooth so this these are normally ten dollars they had a five dollar off coupon i grabbed these suckers up right away and that will be four blades for five dollars didn't think that was too bad for something that's going to shave and he didn't need to shave for another week which is unlike him okay these were buy one get one free they're four dollars so that made them two dollars a piece i would prefer body wash being like 99 cents to a dollar but that's a good deal still um for the dial especially this will go in my two older girls um bags for um their locker for sports and pe and stuff if they like the scents hopefully they do and then this was 2.95 after the two dollar off coupon on pods these are what i use um for when my kids are doing their own laundry um, pods are a little more expensive, but they don't waste as much soap. They can throw one pot in and their clothes are clean. If their clothes are extra dirty, they can throw in two. And that saves us a little bit on soap and saves my sanity from yelling at them for using too much. Yes, I'm a yeller. I'm sorry. Not a great habit, but I am. Okay, and this one was $29.74. So all of this was under $75. And if anybody knows how expensive socks and Zyrtec and Claritin alone and Tide is, they know that I got a really good deal on these items today. So, go download you the Dollar General app. I'm not getting anything out of this. Not a dime. But go download that Dollar General app and go buy you some products and save you some money. $5 off $25 on stuff that you already need to buy is awesome. And even if you have to throw a candy bar in there for a mo special mama treat, that right there to just get you to that 25 can help you drastically. So I also used the Fetch and I will check to make sure that I don't have an Ibotta for any of these items. But Fetch got me for um, the Claritin. I ended up with 69 points for that transaction. And these two transactions, I got 75 or 25 points each. 
not adding up a bunch, but every little bit counts. And I'm at over 30,000 points right now, saving for a bigger, um, a bigger, um, gift card. So just some ways that a mama with nine kids is able to stay home, save as much money and still have some name brand items and not shop Goodwill all the time and not, not that there's anything shopping bad with shopping Goodwill. I just find clearance that I can save more money than Goodwill, at least here in my area. I don't have good luck with Goodwill or any other secondhand store. Um, I, like I said, this is me, this is my life, and this is how I do it with nine kids. If you have any questions, please comment. I would love to answer your questions and I would love to do a video that you guys wanna know more. Um, I'm hoping in the next two weeks to do a kitchen tour when my kids are all at school and the house isn't such a mess. And then, yes, my kids do go to public schools. I think I've said that in other videos. Not that I have any problems with um, um, homeschooling. That's just what works best for our family. So, run to Dollar General. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.